Welcome to this week's product spotlight. We're talking about the investor cash flow loan this week, um, which is a great loan to get you either started in real estate investing or expand your portfolio. The benefit of this program is we will end completely on the cash flow of the property, not from your personal income. Um, so we're most traditional loans, actually all traditional loans, lend off of your ability to repay the loan. So we're looking at your income, your W-2, your pay stubs, your tax returns, your bank statements for income. This loan, we're completely lending off the ability of the property to pay the mortgage. So we're looking at the rent that's coming in um, and we will lend off that and your credit and your assets. So your assets are the money needed to purchase the home, down payment, closing costs, and your credit. You need to meet the minimum credit profile for the loan program. Um, and then the uh, rental income on the property. So amazing program, definitely a great way for you to get started in real estate or expand your real estate portfolio. So let's dig into more details. All right, the benefits. So no personal income used to qualify is the first thing. No limit on the number of property finance, another big one. No uh, DTI restrictions, no debt to income restrictions because we're strictly lending off the cash flow of the property. Minimum credit score to apply is only 600. So again, very, um, very lenient credit scores. Um, no employment required on the applications. We don't list your job history, any of that stuff. Uh, qualifications based solely on the cash flow of the property. Loans up to three and a half million. Minimum loan amount is 75,000. Um, so if you're looking at properties you want to buy for 50,000 in the city or something, not going to work for this loan. Your minimum purchase price is probably going to be around 100,000 to meet that $75,000 minimum loan amount because you do have some down payments, not 100% financing. So what's the down payment? Great question. You can go up to 85% loan to value on a one to four residential, one to four unit residential property. So little as 15% down. Um, if you want to buy a mixed use property, which is a commercial storefront with some residential units, we can do that from two to eight units. Minimum down there is um, 25%. So we'll go to 75% maximum loan to value. You can also use this loan to buy um, multi-unit properties from five to 12 units. Okay. Um, so traditionally, your traditional mortgages stop at four units on this. Since it's more of a commercial product, we can even go five to 12 units on that. Uh, down payment for that is 25%. Max loan to value is 75%. Uh, we also have 40-year terms available and interest only. Um, you can get the seller to pay up to 3% towards your closing costs. And this program can not only be used for purchase, but you can use this for a rate and term refi of properties you already own, <coughs> or you can use it for a cash out. So if you need some cash to invest in more real estate, you can roll it into this. And here's the best benefit of them all. You can um, put this loan in the name of your LLC. So you can take title to the property in the name of the LLC. Now you're still the personal guarantor, um, but this is huge. You can buy the property in the name of the LLC, the sales contract and have your LLC on it. You cannot do that with a traditional financing. Um, you can have to buy it in your name. You have to be the personal guarantor. And if you switch to an LLC later, you technically violate the note. So you have no protections under that because you transfer the title out of your name, you violate any protections you have. And this loan, right off the bat, goes right in the LLC. You get all the protections of the LLC and you get the anonymity that it's harder for someone to find out who owns the property and try and sue them because all they're going to get is the LLC information. So huge benefits there on the investor cash flow. Um, now, what property types are eligible? Uh, single family homes, townhouses, two to four unit residential properties, two to eight unit mixed properties, five to 12 unit multi-unit properties, uh, planned unit developments, warnable condos, non-warnable condos, um, and then condo hotels. We can even do it on that. Um, so what are the requirements for the cash flow? We talked about that 600 minimum score, two years seasoning from foreclosure, short sale bankruptcy or deed and foreclosure. Um, and then um, must be prop, uh, purchasing an elig eligible property. There could be reserve requirements based on how much you're putting down in your credit score. So that is more of an individual thing on what reserves you'll need and how much. Um, the debt servicing ratio, <coughs> um, you can actually have a negative cash flow on the property. It just affects how much reserves you have to have and how much you put down. But you can literally buy it with a negative cash flow. Because we're going to go, and where would you want to do this? Let's say you want to buy a property that might negative cash flow based on a long-term rent. But 
you're going to short term rent it with like Airbnb. So, you know, it won't negative cash flow. So in that case, you might want to take the loan, with the negative cash flow from us because we're basing it on we won't base on an Airbnb rent. We're going to base it on what the appraiser says the market rent is on a long term rental. So that's a situation where being able to do this in a negative cash flow situation on the loan is great, especially for like an Airbnb. So um, <coughs> those are your basic requirements. How do you apply for this loan? Great question. Give uh, me or my team a call at 302-7030727, or you can go online, apply online, PRMILoanapplication.com. If you've got questions or feedback, would love to hear your feedback, comment. Um, if you haven't subscribed or followed, please subscribe or follow me. Um, for these updates. Uh, anything you need, look forward to chatting with you. Have an amazing day.